morning everybody and welcome to another Sunday morning. You know Sundays are really special, they're God's time to prepare us for the week ahead and in a minute we're going to hear from Josiah and Caleb and the message those that God has given them to share with us this week and I think they're going to really bless you. They're about the power of prayer and the power and the comfort that comes from knowing that God is your shepherd and that you're his sheep. And we're going into a very different week, back to school for some people, proper into school, back to learning from home for some people. And I just pray that as God, uh, as you listen to what Josiah and Caleb have to say, that God really works in your heart and makes them what Ben's going to talk to us about, life principles, where we know the power of prayer and we know the reality of God being our our good shepherd. So, see you later at Zoom, but for now, over to Josiah and Caleb. Thank you. Hi guys, it's Josiah here. Um, last week, Ruth and Ben asked me if I could read out my favourite verse. My favourite verse is Philippians 4, verse 6 or 7 in New Life Learning. Do not worry, learn to pray about everything. Give thanks to God as you ask him for what you need. The peace of God is much greater than a human mind can understand. This peace will keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. It's my favourite verse because it says do not worry and learn to pray about everything and it means I can just give all my worries to God and he will sort them out for me. Bye. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Josiah. That was amazing. I, I love it. I, you know, it's one of my favourite life principles. Um, I mean, young kids talking about this kind of stuff, I mean, it's great. Uh, it took me ages to understand that. So, uh, so uh, yeah, the, the life principle is that uh, uh, prayer connects you with the power of God. And that's great. That's fantastic. So how it works. Let, let's see how, how this thing is going on. So uh, you have a problem. Okay, so problem coming up. You have a problem, you feel overwhelmed. Oh, what am I going to do? You, you feel discouraged, you know, bad. So what do you do? Uh, pray, yeah? So you pray and... You, your problem goes to Father God. So now it's it's his problem, yeah? It, it goes to the to powers God with all his power there. And you know what? That is what uh, Josiah or Josiah's verse was about. Because when this happens, he gives you peace in your heart. And that's great. Uh, so uh, let's move on. Let's go to Caleb now. So last time Caleb was talking about prayer and uh, you know what, I got very inspired about this. So this is why Caleb, thank you very much, I got my prayer jar. Yeah, okay, <laughs> ready to use that. Uh, so I can't wait to hear what Caleb is going to say now. So over to Pastor Caleb. Today, I am going to be talking about Psalms 23, verse 1 and 2. Let me just read it to you. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. The person who wrote this is David, and he is describing himself as a sheep. And the, and the sheep is saying the shepherd is God. And the, sh the shepherd cares for the sheep. So he's kept, he's describing that God, the sheep, this God, he's caring for him. Let me just, for example, it says, he leaves me beside quiet waters. That me is just trying, like, this is rough waters. You wouldn't want to drink from a rough water. You'd probably get, like, hurt. And this is still water. That's what he said. Still water. Um, so you, uh, so you can have a good drink. And it says, and it says, 
he makes me lie down in green pastures. So I've been on a muddy pitch before for a football match. And it was muddy. And I got muddy. Uh, and if a sheep went on there, there wasn't no grass, like grass to eat, because they should eat grass. Um, it would just be muddy. And they'll get muddy. So they would need to be in green field. Calm green field. So that's why it says a green pasture. So, and it says I should not be in want because this, the, um, the shepherd or God has given you all you need and he's shown you the path. So I'm just going to end by saying he's, um, the example is the shepherd is God and God is just caring for you and he's, uh, he's leading you the right path. Bye.